So, wow, nice to be back here. Welcome everyone, our beautiful Heart Resonance stewards to um, our Good of the Whole Monday morning Heart Resonance, our opportunity to come together and um, be in this restorative practice of resonance. So this morning, it's day seven of the seven days of rest and reflection. And we are um, just holding the field with dedication for the web of life. And this morning, our topic here is rest in loving wholeness. So um, just wanted to say that at the same time, um, simultaneously, Julie Kral is over on Facebook Live offering a short resonance there and will be inviting people to come on this call. So um, all of you who've been with us for six years and some who are just joining us today to be able to hold the space with this awareness of our interconnectivity to all life. So um, I have with me wonderful um, Nahid Mokhtari, who's here as uh, one of our Resonance Council stewards, and she's going to be opening our call with a resonance, with that heart centering. We always start the call from that place of connection. And for those of you that are joining us who are new, um, a little bit about good of the whole. So really simply, we're just all planetary stewards committed to serving good of the whole. And when we come to this call, speaking from our hearts and intentionally expanding this resonant field of love. So we come here with the understanding that we're whole beings in service to a greater whole. And this particular opportunity provides the, ex the experience to embody and express the field itself through our inherent wholeness and build this um, experience, expanding field of coherence. So um, welcome everyone and um, I'll be sharing a few guidelines after um, Nahid opens our call. So Nahid passing the beautiful talking stick to you. Welcome those who are new and just want to invite people who are on the phone or on the computer to put yourselves on mute just as we're beginning and then we'll be opening it up to everyone to have an opportunity to share. Good morning, my beloved soul partner in the co-creation of the reality that we are creating together. Let's, let's breathe together and dive into the center of our chest and in every breath Feel and witness the one who is breathing us. After a couple of long breaths, we just watch the one breathing.
This is my favorite place to be. We talk of original ideas today. I'm inviting us to connect with the original sound, which is the immediate expression of the light. The original sound. within us. The silence. We don't have to tighten our throat. We can breathe in every moment. Every moment during the day or night. From this place. And choose. To close our mouth. experiencing the wholeness of being that I am. Thank you for being there with me. Mm. Thank you for being here with me. So thank you, Nahid. <clears throat> so continuing in that sense of wholeness. I'm going to just share um, a few guidelines that if you imagine yourself as the banks of a river and this field from that place is, is informing us. And this is just a beautiful space that we create each week to come in and really listen to this emergent voice of those inner waters. So each one of us are, are the banks of that river holding space. And um, with this call, for those that are new, there's really a natural flow where each person comes in and participates and takes a moment or a minute or two to express what's moving through them. <clears throat> when they feel called. 
So for the sake of people that are on the phone and all of the rest of us here, just a few, few things to hold in your awareness as this call is moving. So we invite you when you feel called to say your name and really speak from the essence of your heart. Speaking to the whole as if we were spokes of this beautiful wheel of, of creation, this moving spherilic energy. We're speaking to the whole. So we're speaking in present time and from your direct experience, sharing the seeds and insight and the bottom line of what is moving through you. And because there's a lot of people on this call, we invite you to just really try to keep it to one to two minutes and really speak from what is moving. So as, as, a, as if that we're weaving our voices together, we're listening for the person before us, letting go of what ideas we have about what we might be wanting to share, but what is wanting to come through as we listen to those threads, to those waves of inspiration. And you're welcome to speak more than once. Um, but the most beautiful thing here is that we really understand and invite this reflective pause, trusting the silence before we speak. So there are no bells right now on this call. We're simply inviting you to just move into your being and really listen to that liminal space because that's where that intelligence, the information comes through to come forward to speak to us as a collective. So today our call is um, Rest in Loving Wholeness, Honoring the Web of Life. And I'm just going to read um, just a, two beautiful quotes, one from Shelley Ostroff. Actually, I think they're both from Shelley Ostroff. And to really set the space for us to um, open to this beautiful experience here this morning. So just inviting you to, if you want to close your eyes, and then we'll be inviting you to take yourself off mute when you feel that call to, to share. We are the generation entrusted with the most pressing challenge of our millennia. To effectively address the diverse challenges requires a quantum leap forward in our ability to come together and coordinate our efforts to protect all life on Earth. Our survival and the survival of other species requires us to return to a deeper wisdom rooted in our fundamental interconnectedness and to reclaim our role as stewards of this intricate web of life. So this morning, we invite you to join in with us on the seventh day of rest and reflection, to join in commitment and honor to protect this web of life while celebrating together as we return to this deeper wisdom rooted in our interconnectedness and our wholeness. So how is that moving for you today as we come and we experience that we are the web of life? We are the web of life. And with that, welcoming all those who have just joined us, those who are new, I'm Shelley Darling and holding the space for good of the whole as hosting this call. And for those that are new, I invite you just to listen for a little bit. And when you feel that call to unmute yourself and just share what's moving through you. This is a beautiful experience of how we build coherence as a community out to the greater whole. So with that, I'm complete and um, going to pass this beautiful talking feather to whomever feels that calling and welcome Julie and all those of you who've come over from um, Facebook Live. So blessings everyone and um, I'm complete.
Good morning. This is Julie. <clears throat> I woke up very emotional today and felt the seven in the seven days and went, oh no, I, I didn't want the seven days to end. I could start crying right now. I was like, no, this has been so incredible. And I felt this sense of community. I felt this sense of um, newness, this creative source, this, this wholeness, really palpable. And I didn't want it to end. And I'm like, emotional. And then I remembered <clears throat> a commitment I made to myself a couple weeks ago. And my commitment was, I'm calling it for 2019, planning for brilliance. And I've been writing about that. Of how do I bring this space, this creative source, this expansiveness, this spaciousness into my day every day moving forward in 2019? And when I remembered that commitment, everything just kind of went clunk into space. It was like into place. It was like, oh, yeah. My commitment a couple weeks ago is exactly what I've experienced this week. And now I get to bring this forward and really honor this commitment to myself to come into my wholeness and to literally play with this interconnected reality with the elements, with the climate, with the biosphere, and with the web of life every day. Literally, I bought myself a planner. I'm not a planner. I don't like to plan. I don't like details. I like to be in the flow of the moment. I like to be with the, what the universe is presenting in the moment and follow that and be in this creative flow. And that's what I love to do. And yet this planner's giving me the space to do that. Like literally I'm bringing that into form and structure in a whole new way. So I just wanted to share that in this opening of, of seven days is that this isn't the end. Day seven is a beautiful launching space for all of us to continue to gather in community and to be this living expression of the web of life. And with that, I'm never complete, but I'm whole. So I'll turn that talking feather back to the center. Well, on the heels of that, Kate feels compelled to pick up the talking feather because I'm just off the Facebook Live. I'm kind of like, wow, Julie, because I just witnessed her speak the most beautiful words people I've ever spoken or heard spoken. And I don't know how many of you tune into All Things Connected, but this woman can just interview and bring such a tightness and a wholeness and so much form and and can bring it all to a an easy to understand level and just speaks to everyone and highlights everyone and 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 then as i think of that how you were all so highlighted all my beautiful brilliant friends from here in this room i got to see in a in a beautiful light every day and and yeah I, all i know is my passion is really sparked and and I just, I, I had to jump in real quick and I'm going to return the talk to each other now.
As I am, my name is Nahid. As I am clear, actually, more than ever, that this is the beginning. It's in, it's, the seventh day is now the last. You know, I totally uh, feel that this is the new beginning that we have been talking about it for a long time. And uh, I am celebrating all the diversity and the qualities of being that every one of us bring into the picture. And as I'm hearing you, Julie, it's like the intention, the plan, our intention is our plan, is uh, that is calling me this year is I am the awareness of what is already happening. In that, I found my wholeness my interconnectedness with everything else. As you said, you said I love to be spontaneous and just flow in what the universe brings. But it's, I mean, so this is what is meaningful for me now. One day, I was referring to the field as it, God, And then the shift happens, and I called it I. I, I actually I called it you because in the in the space of the heart, that's what ha what happens. And now I see something else is happening, and it has the you has become the. I am, that is, we are. So when I attune to the awareness that we are already happening, and then sometimes I think, well, why is that happening? It's like I have to take the next, next step and the next step. But in that space, everything is arriving already and I don't have, I don't give myself the chance to see it, to feel it, to be present with that. I am blessed to be in this space with you. I am complete. Mm. I'm picking up the feather. This is Cassandra White Raven. I'm in Central Texas. As I pay attention to my heart, to the living waters of my body, to the connection that we all share on this lovely and informative call, I'm reminded that we are changing. We are becoming something other than we've been in past generations. And as this we consciousness enters those sacred places within us, it changes us for the better, always for the better. And I am so grateful to be here on this day, this last day of rest. But not the last day of our communing together in the web of life. Thank you, I am complete. Aho.
Good morning. <clears throat> this is June from California. <coughs> I may be <coughs> a little noisy from a very <clears throat> bad cold, but these seven days of rest have brought forward seven and sevenfold aspects of um, our lives, my life, uh, on such a deep level. And what I'm really excited about it is that, as Julie spoke, um, we have seven days every week. We have weeks every month. We have weeks every year. And my commitment at this point is to really deepen and step into each aspect so that there are outer aspects that I see in the world that I contribute to in terms of of protecting the climate, of, of opening to a whole new ways of doing things on each day, but that I take it inside and that uh, each day uh, of every week, uh, of every year that I, uh, I increase, I love and I uh, bring forward uh, each of those aspects so that I connect with each of you and with everyone else on this planet to to nurture to love and to to join in a way that has never um, hopefully been done before so that we can lift up the love the uh, working together the, the healing of ourselves and of the planet and so these seven days of rest um, have forced me with this cold to clean out and to rest and and to really deeply appreciate the, the place that being with all of you helps me to go um, and just the thought of uh, the days of rest or the thought of, of us as a resonant group of hearts um, just fills my heart and helps me to be stronger and more willing to be present in this world both on an inner and outer plane and so thank you so much for being in my life and for providing a space for me to uh to contribute and to grow and to love and i'm complete So I'm going to invite everyone just for a moment, just to be in that pause. I see you, Victoria. Just, just take a moment, pause, and feel the preciousness of the pause in between each voice. And if you even just think of the word web, it starts with we. And then the next letter is B, we be life. So this call is an invitation to allow the presence, you could say the presence of the one, the one heart or the web of life. Just in between each sharing allows for us all to Deepen in as we as we let go of that exhale, we're we're dropping into greater spaciousness as, as being shared. So as you're looking at all these this beautiful quilt and weaving of all of us, we're staying present with that which is, which is moving us. <clears throat> that's really bringing us into greater presence for our individual worlds collect, connected to the greater whole. So with that, I hand the beautiful talking stick over. Let's allow a pause and then um, whoever feels called to come forward. Thank you. I'm complete and whole. <laughs>
This is Henry. I had the honor and challenge of doing the reflection last night on biodiversity. And I don't consider myself a scientist in knowing what biodiversity is. And then tuning into understanding and with the beautiful reflections and practices that Shelley Ostroff and the team there offered, I now am beginning to understand that I'm actually a master of biodiversity. So one of the reflections um, that, that, that Shelley offered, Shelley Ostroff and, and Jan, the team, was sense into your breath and how your breath activates the diverse biological intelligences in your body. Wow. Just, just opening to that and, and there are biological intelligences in my body and my breath activates it. But also our voices ride on the breath. It, it is part of the breath. So each of our sharings here or our sharings in our, all of our communications, we are activating intelligences. We are opening those deeper connections that allow us to make this quantum leap. We are activating through our individual brilliances. All of that. And, and we're creating in this well, web of life, in this div, uh, biodiversity, we're creating a new world. We're creating, we're opening to that that we space and opening to the, the beautiful sharing of Cassandra of, of opening those deeper sacred spaces within us and realizing that, that we are all masters of this biodiversity. So I, I, feel, I feel complete now. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Victoria. And uh, so let's see, I think um, I'm so relaxed. <laughs> um, I was going to speak a little bit to the web of life and to what was spoken about in terms of planning. I was thinking about that because I was on a call last night for Unity Earth, um, which is a very dynamic organization and uh, doing events all over the world. And we're actually planning the event for New York in February. And um, so there are a lot of different aspects of planning that event. As you can imagine, planning, 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 creating, creating. And so, you know, there's a lot of um, kind of back and forth whether, you know, we should uh, be very structured, get that planning book, or we should have open space, you know, that conversation is always going on. And so I was thinking, especially as when I heard on this call that in a way, after that conversation last night, especially, I thought, you know, the web of life, the Indra's web is not haphazard. And, you know, trees don't grow haphazardly and, and planets don't go I, I, haphazard. And earth, I mean, everything has such order in it. I mean, there's the smallest little detail, those insects, that shells with a billion incredible, you know, rhythm, uh, you know, um, 
unfoldings that are all the same. I mean, it's mind boggling, beyond mind boggling when you see it, and it is all in order. It is in certain, it certainly has an aesthetic, it has a, you know, kind of a plan. And so, you know, that I started to think that planning is perhaps, it's just like anything else, it's a flow, and now we're in the flow of planning. <laughs> you know, like we say, we either can go with the flow or we can structure, but perhaps, like, that's still part of the flow. The planning is part of the flow. And, you know, Ron, my, my husband, who's a physician, a retired physician, I mean, he always says to me that inside the body, everything is structured, unbelievably, to the smallest little atom. So I just feel like, you know, I have a little bit of a new view on that, that planning is the flow. It's just part of the flow. Now I'm going to organize and plan and, and make goals. And, <laughs> and it's all going to be part of God's plan. Because how could it not be? So anyway, I just was reflecting on that, and then I heard Julie speak to that, and that was great. Thank you. This is Michelle, and I think there's an epidemic happening. A non-planner is also planning here. And uh, the world is saying, it's time, it's time. <laughs> Planning's coming. If you want it to happen or not, I am planning. <laughs> I have been more organized and structured in the last few weeks than I have been in my entire life put together. Not that I don't plan. I just usually have people who plan for me, <laughs> who make things happen. And I, I get to be the great visionary, but it's like, okay, visionary, you're now moving into your next phase of the web, your new building that I'm doing of the expansion of my web is learning how to plan to expand and create. And so I'm hearing it here today. And I think it's an epidemic about us visionaries. We have to plan. <laughs> <laughs> I have to laugh. I'm so happy there's people I can call and ask you how you're doing it because it's still a struggle and will remain, I'm sure. So I just had to put it out there that I think there's an epidemic amongst us and I'm complete for now. This is Sharon. I'm in New Jersey. And um, it may be noisy at any point behind me. And I have to flip on and off my video because our, our HVAC system is being replaced today, which means the furnace is off and it's cold in New Jersey. <laughs> and so we have a wood stove. I have the wood stove going. And I have to stoke the fire and keep it burning. Uh, and I love everything everyone said. And uh, this HVAC system is part of a bigger plan <laughs> to get the house in order. <laughs> uh, I just want to share also, I, we watched, my husband and I watched a, a movie, a, a series last night that you may have all seen, but we hadn't, and it's the second um, Blue Planet, the Blue Planet 2. And if you haven't seen it, it's so worth, worth watching. And it's all about the oceans and the life in the oceans and the photography and the, is unbelievable. And they were deep, deep in the ocean and they were showing interspecies cooperation, like between a squid and a grouper and how they, the grouper would flash different colors when he wanted to get the attention of the squid and then because the squid could reach into places he couldn't get. So he would find where the little things they wanted to eat were. And then the squid would come get them. <laughs> Between the two, it's just amazing. And that was one of their examples. Um, and the teamwork between, they're showing, they're showing fish have more brain than anybody thought, you know, in terms of what they're doing. There's this world and world that was all about, you know, the, re the coral reefs. It just blows your mind the diversity and the biodiversity and all of this. So 
my plan has been not to plan so much. <laughs> um, and be more and allow. So, but the planning is part of the flow. So I get that too. Love you all. I'll put the feather back in. This is Linda in Indiana. Uh, I too am unplanning this cold that got me for the week, but it's been beautiful to experience the seven days of rest and to realize how connected we are and the 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 planning that we're that we're experiencing is really just like another tree that blossoms that has the fruit that has the flower that has everything is in divine order and whether my mind says i'm planning something or not it's happening and we're in that and that's how i feel the web of life has us we are in life and for me being in love in life is what nurtures not only me and all the systems in my body but the air that i breathe is is reaching out and you're inhaling my exhale and and the the, the rains that have come down and touched me and fed the earth and have grown the food uh, that i've eaten is the same rain that's touching you and it really is such a beautiful tapestry of life. Each one of us here, we're, we're each unique and, and diverse, but so much the same. It just allows me to stay in a place of pure wonder of the miracle of life and we're in it and i feel so blessed just for this week and this moment and uh, we have an opportunity to be mindful of this experience every single day aren't we lucky <laughs> And I would say that, that maybe my plan is to just spread this a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Because when one person feels it, you can't unfeel this. You have it. So um, keep spreading the love. I have my Love Lives Here shirt on. So <laughs> love lives here and with all of you. And um, thank you for this beautiful week. And for all of the mornings and evening reflections, I've been with you. I just haven't been speaking with you. It's good to be here. I love you all. I'm complete. Good morning, good day, good evening, good afternoon, good everything. It has been a joy to been, have been with you this week, uh, sharing uh, from the beginning in this amazing first seven days of 2019. And I keep coming back to the spider web and grandmother spider and as I look at the grid work here in front of me, it's the spider, each one of us are holding one center point. And we reach out and create spider webs into the world and gather people in these points, in these nexus points where we just communicate love and peace and light 
And that has been shown to me throughout everything that we've each discovered and deepened into this week. Um, for me, planning is challenging because of uh, a brain injury. Yet, I have done more planning this week than I, I can ever think. <laughs> <laughs> and I've actually accomplished it, which was more amazing to me. I've also put more words from my heart out into the world. So the creative flow of this week, the seven days of rest and reflection was really bringing us all to this deeper part of ourselves where we learn so much more about who we are and how we can serve the world and each other. And I just want to thank each one of you for being here and, and upholding this space at uh, Good of the Whole. Uh, it's been wonderful, and I thank you all. Bless you. I'm complete. This is Cassandra White Raven again. When I first understood the concept of the web, I was very clear for myself that the beauty of it lied in the creator for the creation. As I began to expand my own understanding of reality, I began to think in terms of energy and intention and co-creating on that level, the web then became a highway, if you will, of energetic points from various sources all interconnecting in this beautiful way. But let us not forget that we are a part, we are the weavers and allow ourselves to be in that incredibly sacred space of sharing with one another that which we weave. It benefits the whole. It is for the good of the whole. I can think of nothing better to spend my life doing than working towards that goal. And with that, I'm complete. hard to speak into this field when it's so full of um, light because when I'm listening I'm experiencing your light <clears throat> and when I'm speaking I'm expressing light and I love even the visual <clears throat> of the water with on the spider web where that light is, is hitting those drops of water on those just very, those filaments. <clears throat> so um, just continuing with this spiral of love, light, and energy. This is the time where we, those of us on this call that have spoken to really be the banks of this river and allow those that haven't shared to um, speak and um, 
Yeah. <clears throat> just hold in that pause. So with that, just invite those that haven't shared to come forth. We'd love to hear you. Good morning, everyone. This is Nancy out in California. And as I'm listening to everybody today, I'm like feeling really sad because I kind of missed the seven days of rest. And I missed it because, because I wasn't in a restful state enough to connect to it and just have had a lot of stress and things and going on. But then the really beautiful good news is that I really didn't miss it, even though I wasn't tuning in to the actual events. I still feel so connected to this group and to the energy of this group. And I think I've been, I've been getting the essence of the seven days of rest regardless. So that's just the beauty of being connected. And I guess I'm thanking you all for carrying the energy for me the last seven days so that I could experience the seven days of rest without actually tuning into the internet web and yet tuning in to the bigger consciousness web. So I'm sending you all love for the week. Thank you. The talking feather is available for it's a few more people who haven't shared. If you feel to, don't forget to unmute yourself. Maybe I'm going to unmute the 781. I think I might have muted you. So, <laughs> all right. So Let's just um, take a breath. I wanted to share something before we complete the cycle of this call. <clears throat> I wanted to share this picture <clears throat> because in feeling the web of life this morning and being called out to experience the fullness of the earth, the water, the fire and the air, the fire as the sun. I was gifted this walking along the beach and I just felt like it was so, to just take a moment in a place of no words and just for those who are on the phone, what it, what's being shown is a, uh, it's a whelk, but it's the top of the whelk. And I felt like the, the mother herself was saying, here, take this gift and pass it along. Because in it reveals the sacred geometry of the web itself, this connection, this movement, this spiralic um, engineering is the word that's coming through. You know, we've been hearing about planning and, and, and letting go and allowing. And I think all of it is involved in this experience of life. And we come here, we come to the seven days of rest or whatever comes in front of us. It isn't an it. It's not just a thing. It's an experience of an opportunity where our attention gets called into receiving and loving more. And that is this web. That is this spiral of life that we're, so beautifully engaged in. So <clears throat> with that, I um, just want to
thank you all for showing up and being that embodied expression, expanding. <laughs> These are terms that we always use in good of the whole, you know, to experience, embody, and express and expand this inherent wholeness. And I think that's been the experience here today. And, and each one of you are in, an important piece of that. So um, with that, we have a really fun way of ending this call. Before that, um, so we're gonna invite everyone to mute, um, unmute in a moment. So just given that the seven days of rest is not over, <laughs> and um, invite you to still go to that page. Uh, there's some incredibly beautiful, inspiring experiences, even if you do it tonight after or tomorrow. There are certain things that even I haven't experienced and I'm looking forward to listening to some of those meditations um, during this week. So um, tonight we do offer our last uh, Good of the Whole reflection and we invite you to come Facebook Live with us and share your comments because they go to over to the seven days of rest and um, however they would like to use them, but they give an opportunity for people to tap in and experience that what we've been experiencing. Um, as well as this call, um, for those of you that are listening to the replay or who are new, this call continues every single Monday at this time, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. And uh, we invite you to come join us. And the way to do that is to go to um, thegoodofthewhole.com. Really simple, goodofthewhole.com and sign in um, either on the resonance page or just sign in, you'll be receiving our weekly resonant reflections so that you too can feel this greater rippling of this web of life going out and expanding and touching more and more hearts. So with that, we invite you to unmute and we end this call for those that are new by saying, uh, really, it's a little mantra of yum. And in that yum, that energy just ripples out. Yum, quiet. Yum, 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 y